Hello and welcome to Cloud Learners Journey Part 5 of Azure Solutions Architect Real Exam Questions and Answers with Explanation. You can also find reference links in the description. To become an Azure Solutions Architect, you must pass AZ104 and AZ305 exam. You can also go through AZ104 exam video series and links are available in the description. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our Cloud Learners Journey channel to help you pass AZ305 exam and become an Azure Solutions Architect. Question number one, you need to deploy resources to host a stateless web app in an Azure subscription. The solution must meet the following requirements. First requirement, provide access to the full .NET framework. Second requirement, provide redundancy if an Azure region fails. Third requirement, grant administrators access to an operating system to install custom application dependencies. Here the solution is, you deploy an Azure virtual machine scale set that uses auto scaling. Does this meet the goal? And the options are A, yes, B, no. And the correct option is B, no. You should deploy two Azure virtual machines, two Azure regions, and you create a traffic manager profile. Next question number two. You need to recommend an Azure storage account configuration for two applications named application 1 and application 2. The configuration must meet the following requirements. First requirement, storage for application 1 must provide the highest possible transaction rates and the lowest possible latency. Second requirement, storage for application 2 must provide the lowest possible storage cost per GP. Third requirement, storage for both applications must be available in an event of data center failure. Fourth requirement, storage for both applications must be optimized for uploads and downloads. What should you recommend to answer? Select the appropriate options in the answer area. Answer area for application 1 options are blob storage with standard performance, hot access tier and read access geo storage replication. Second option, block blob storage with premium performance and zone redundant storage replication. Third option, general purpose V1 with premium performance and locally redundant storage replication. Fourth option, general purpose V2 with standard performance, hot access tier and locally redundant storage replication. And the correct option is block blob storage with premium performance and zone redundant storage replication. Application 1 requires high transaction rates and the lowest possible latency. We need to use premium, not standard. For application 2, options are blob storage with standard performance, cool access tier, and geo redundant storage replication. Second option, block blob storage with premium performance and zone redundant storage replication. Third option, general purpose V1 with standard performance and read access geo redundant storage replication. Fourth option, general purpose V2 with standard performance, cool access tier, and read access geo redundant storage replication. And the correct option is general purpose V2 with standard performance, cool access tier, and read access geo redundant storage replication. General purpose V2 provides access to the latest Azure storage features, including cool and active storage with pricing optimized for the lowest GP storage prices. These accounts provide access to block blobs, page blobs, files, and queues, recommended for most scenarios using Azure storage. Next question number three. You have an on-premises app named App1. Customer uses App1 to manage digital images. You plan to migrate App1 to Azure. You need to recommend a data storage solution for App1. The solution must meet the following image storage requirements. First requirement, encrypt images at rest. Second requirement, allow files up to 50 MB. Third requirement, manage access to the images by using Azure Web Application Firewall on Azure Front Door. The solution must meet the following customer account requirements. First requirement, support automatic scale out of the storage. Second requirement, maintain the availability of App1 if a data center fails. Third requirement, support reading and writing data from multiple Azure regions. Which service should you include in the recommendation for each type of data? We have the services Azure Blob Storage, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL Database, Azure Table Storage. For image storage, option is Azure Blob Storage and for customer account, option is Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Fender accelerates the delivery of static content from Azure Storage Blobs and enables a secure and scalable architecture. Next, question number four. You deploy several Azure SQL database instances. You plan to configure the diagnostic settings on the databases as shown in the following exhibit. As per the exhibit, diagnostic setting name is diagnostic1 and for the logs, SQL insights retention is 90 days and for automatic tuning, then the retention is 30 days. We have a subscription Azure as sponsorship with Log Analytics Workspace SK200814 East US and it is enabled for archive to a storage account and the location East US subscription Azure Pass sponsorship storage account counter set 20. Use the drop-down menus to select the answer choice that completes each statement based on the information presented in the graphic. Answer area, 
for the amount of time that SQL Insights data will be stored in blob storage is 90 days. It is as per exhibit. The maximum amount of time that SQL Insights data can be stored in Azure Log Analytics is 730 days. Raw data points, that is items that you can query in Analytics and Inspects in Search are kept for up to 730 days. Next, question number 5. Your company has 20 web API that were developed in-house. The company is developing 10 web apps that will use the web APIs. The web apps and the APIs are registered in the company's Azure Active Directory tenant. The web APIs are published by using Azure API Management. You need to recommend a solution to block unauthorized requests originating from the web apps from reaching the web APIs. The solution must meet the following requirement. Use Azure AD generated claims. Minimize configuration and management effort. What should you include in the recommendation? And in the answer area, for grant permissions to allow the web apps to access the web APIs by using Azure AD. It grants permissions in Azure AD. For configure a JSON web token validation policy by using Azure API management. Configure a JWT validation policy to pre-authorize requests. Pre-authorize requests in API management with the validation JWT policy by validating the access tokens of each incoming request. If a request doesn't have a valid token, API management blocks it. Next, question number 6. You have an Azure AD tenant named Contesto.com that has a security group named Group 1. Group 1 is configured for assigned memberships. Group 1 has 50 members including 20 guest users. You need to recommend a solution for evaluating the membership of Group 1. The solution must meet the following requirements. First requirement, the evaluation must be repeated automatically every three months. Second requirement, every member must be able to report whether they need to be in group one. Third requirement, users who report that they do not need to be in group one must be removed from group one automatically. Fourth requirement, users who do not report whether they need to be in group one must be removed from group one automatically. What should you include in the recommendation? And the options are A. Implement Azure AD Identity Protection B. Change the membership type of Group 1 to Dynamic User C. Create an Access Review D. Implement Azure AD Privileged Identity Management The correct option is C. Create an Access Review Access Reviews in Azure Active Directory enables to organizations to efficiently manage group memberships, access to enterprise applications and role assignments. Users access can be reviewed regularly to make sure only the right people have continued access. Next, question number 7. You are designing a data analytics solution that will use Azure Synapse and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. You need to recommend Azure Synapse pools to meet the following requirements. First requirement, ingest data from Data Lake Storage into hash distributed tables. Second requirement, implement query and update data in Delta Lake. What should you recommend for each requirement? Answer area for ingest data from Data Lake Storage into hash distributed tables. And the option is dedicated SQL pool. Dedicated SQL pool is used to minimize data movement during queries which improves query performance. Second answer area, implement query and update data in Delta Lake is a serverless SQL pool. A serverless SQL pool is a distributed data processing system built for large scale data and computational functions. Serverless SQL pool enables you to analyze your big data in seconds to minutes depending on the workloads. Next question number 8. You plan to implode data from your on-premises environments to Azure. The data is shown in the following table. We have columns on premise source, Azure Target, the Microsoft SQL Server 2012 database, and the Azure Target is an Azure SQL database. A table in Microsoft SQL Server 2014 database with Azure Target and Azure Cosmos DB account that uses the SQL API. What should you recommend using to migrate the data? And we have tools AZ Copy, Azure Cosmos DB data migration tool, data management gateway. Data Migration Assistant. Answer area for the first one from the SQL Server 2012 database, it's Data Migration Assistant. The Data Migration Assistant helps you upgrade to a modern data platform by detecting compatibility issues that can impact database functionality in Azure SQL database. And for second answer area from the table in the SQL Server 2014 database, it's Azure Cosmos DB Data Migration Tool. Azure Cosmos DB Data Migration Tool can be used to migrate SQL Server Database table to Azure Cosmos. Next question number 9. You are building an Azure Web App that will store the personally identifiable information of employees. You need to recommend an Azure SQL Database solution for the Web App. The solution must meet the following requirement. 
first requirement maintain availability in the event of a single data center outage second requirement support the encryption of specific columns that contain PII third requirement automatically scale up during payroll operations fourth requirement minimize cost what should you include in the recommendations answer area first one service tier and computer tier and the option is general purpose service tier and serverless computer tier for encryption method it's always encrypted the general purpose service tier is designed for common workloads it offers budget oriented balance compute and storage options next question number 10 you need to design an architecture to capture the creation of users and the assignment of roles. The captured data must be stored in Azure Cosmos DB. Which services should you include in the design? To answer, drag the appropriate services to the correct targets. Each service may be used once, more than once or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between panes or scroll to view content. We have the Azure services, Azure Event Grid, Azure Event Hubs, Azure Functions, Azure Monitor Logs, and Azure Notification Hubs. Correct options are Azure Event Hubs. You can route Azure Active Directory activity logs to several endpoints for long-term retention and data insights. The Event Hub is used for streaming. And second answer area, it's Azure Functions. It uses an Azure function along with the Cosmos DB change feed and stores the data in Cosmos DB. Thank you for watching part 5 of Azure Solutions Architect Real Exam Questions and Answers. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and comment to our channel for more related topics. We look forward to continuing the journey with you in next videos. Thank you.